What's up guys? Just wanted to do a little update on Betty the Bagger and the T-Bar setup. I think last time did a really terrible job of what it takes to install T-Bars on an FL Harley. So um, finally got my piece finished on the dash. Uh, I think it looks alright. It took me a really, really long time to, <laughs> to get that thing uh, nice and clean, but but yeah, yeah, it's 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 done, man. I uh, can't really take it out this weekend. It looks like rain, so just make this little video real quick. Um, but yeah, to be able to do this, T bars or traditional risers and normal handlebars, you need the Krauss mount, and the Krauss mount will actually move the mounting point back for the bars or the risers two and a half inches. And that way uh, you can run risers or T-bars. But in doing that, you have to clearance the crap out of that lower switch panel there. And the Krauss mount actually covers the factor ignition. So you have to relocate the ignition. And this was my idea. I like it better than hanging it down where the horn is or something like that. So... And I think it, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, there are a couple little things I want to do, but other than that, I, I really dig it. But like I said, there won't be many with this setup rolling around. So, but yeah, guys, that's that's gonna be it. Hopefully, it doesn't rain. Cross your fingers, um, so I can get out there and record some more stuff and put some more videos out. Thanks, guys. Take it easy. Hit subscribe and like and punch the bell notification. It will send you emails when I upload next. Thanks.